I'm going to show you DC things, direct current. Be very attentive to what I'm telling you, especially my warnings. I'm gonna give you some warnings you really need to heed and you need to avoid certain items that are being sold as DC only or DC use. Please pay attention. For those people who want these bulkhead connectors, they are used to go through metal or other surfaces. I'll sell you an eight pack. There's four red, four black, and eight of my, from IBM, look at that. I got them from an IBM auction, IBM, you know. Heavy duty, fully tinned, no joke, good stuff. I'll sell you that for 25 and a half, free delivery in the lower 48. So let's stay on this video here and we're gonna get busy on it here and I'll show you more. Look below the video for a link to a PayPal link. You can order those, you have to read down far. I'll put it at the bottom and let's go with this, okay? Um, still finishing up this table here, making it nice, putting a power strip on it. Let's get over here. Right, Kate? Where's Emma? All right, guys, my Emma's standing guard over my high dollar stuff. Um, I want to get y'all a quick, but it, 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 this might be a 15 minute video. I don't want it to be, but look at everything I got here. And I've got a lot of questions. A lot of viewers, they ask me, um, hey, man, what do I use? What do I use? What do I need? How many do I need? What amperage? What, you know, what wire gauge? I'm going to get to that in somewhat detail, but I'm going to give you guys something that's going to help you tremendously. Um, what not to do, what to get, what type to use, when to use it, what amperage really means, what kind of terminals work best, how you can use them on metal, how you can make your system safe. What I've got here, and every one of these things that I have here, I'll put links down there where I get them at so you guys can go on there and you can look at them. I always do that, look underneath my videos, you're gonna see there's links to stuff. And um, there's a few of them that might be uh, affiliate action. There's uh, most of them, uh, about half of them won't be. It's really about, um, I like you coming in and seeing it and reading the details and the specs on things. Um, that's why I do the links. It's great info you can go straight to it you can read reviews and that's how you buy you buy that and always be careful of fake reviews like people who sell stuff like that they got a lot of fake reviews but what you want to be working with when you're working with dc voltage now let's start with a basic premise here dc voltage is a major issue that requires like your car there's old battery terminal here clamping force I want you to keep this in mind as we go through this. Clamping force. When you do DC voltage, you use a crimper to crimp the wires, not a wire nut, okay? Unless it's low voltage, very light amperage, out in your yard lighting, that's different. But even those screw-on terminals have a different type of a spring in them. The outdoor springs with the water seals that you see for outdoor lighting, they're different. They're not a regular wire nut. So, I'm going to get to something right here that is going to probably um, really tick off somebody. Um, there's uh, two or three guys that are on eBay and they're selling this thing. That thing. Looks just about like that, okay? And they're calling it, even with the GE still on it. And let me tell you what, I'm gonna show you something that's manufactured by uh, a company, it's not GE, um, but it's 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 uh, something Dynamics, I can't remember. But I'm gonna show you a comparison here. This, I bought in bulk. I buy these in bulk. You see the, the slots? It's for a screwdriver. I bought these in bulk, look at this. This is a 40 amp DC binder, 40 amp. And I got big hands, look at this thing, okay? I mean, you want to see that? Look at the a and fuse holder, all right? So I'm just giving you a comparison. No hand brag here, but I want you to look. There's a guy on eBay, three or four guys on eBay, five or six different store names that they sell under, and they're selling something that looks like this and something that looks like this, or is this, and it might say home line, it might say Siemens on it, it might say GE on it, it might say square D. 
but it's being sold for 50 bucks, 40 to $50 as a solar disconnect. Now, the only safe solar disconnect, honestly, um, doesn't use anything like the internal parts of this thing. So I wanna go through this real quick with you guys. If you see this sold on eBay or Amazon or a person's website, and they have solar disconnect on it. Let me go do a close-up. Now, they, they don't let you see this in their ads. It's in fact, a lot of them, they put their sticker over the top of that, you know, Billy Bob Solar. But if you see this, run like hell. Now, this here, let me get in here close. Hopefully, it'll focus here. 240 volt, 60 amp. Now, that's two-phase okay there's your common comes through typically a uh, eight gauge wire going to your heating unit air conditioner spa jacuzzi up here you'll have power going in power going out power going in power going out either way and of course waterproof connections and this is your disconnect I want to show you this to a regular Look at the girth of that. They're claiming this is 60 amps. Now, remind you that these were an overstock from IBM Computers Warehouse for 60 volt DC 40 amp blowers. Now, I want you to look. All right, here's the other thing. With DC, you can't necessarily use certain metals. All right, you can use a lead zinc combination. You can use a copper lead combination. You can use a bronze lead combination. You can use a silver and lead or a silver and copper, you know, all that kind of stuff. But this is down here is zinc. Those are zinc, okay? And there's their little tabs. They're not actually part of this, see? They're not a physical connection. That little thing there will pop up and your wires clamp against it great for AC circuit not advisable for stranded wire DC circuits solid wire AC circuits or what they call a heavier braid uh, stranded wire for like you'd see in you know commercial grade um, for AC wiring uh, THN or whatever you're gonna see that this has a staggered tabs and there's a reason for that the staggered tabs are so that you'll have a burn through and if you'll notice the way that this one is lesser than that one and it's actually a slightly thinner I don't know if you can tell it it's hard to tell and it's actually made purposely purposely to destroy it to consume it'll actually roll backwards and pull itself away from contacts at 66 to 70 amps continuous it'll handle an 80 amp surge 240 volts alternating current so I'm gonna put this in here now if you bought one of these guys that sell this as a solar solar disconnect if you bought their panels their 150 watt panels barely hit 90 watts so you're probably safe but because they're scam too but if you bought this and then you bought Renergy panels or mighty maxes or new powers or or some quality brand of panel then you got what this guy had he bought this and this and all that from one of those guys. And he ran two gauge cable into it, stranded, duh. He didn't put a pressure cap on it. And this actually caught his paneling on fire in his house. So when you're thinking about this, this is a scam. This is not a solar disconnect, no. It might have that removed when you buy it. You might think, oh my, $50, that's cheap for a solar disconnect because, you know, for a blue sky or something, they want $50 and that's nicer looking. Get this. Get it from a good brand like Scorpion or something, okay? Um, get, just get a damn breaker. Um, and get a breaker that's 20% uh, over your expected. You're supposed to do that. So if you have 200 amp, get a 250, okay? Um, something in that range. Secondary, use use proper terminals on stuff. 
That's what I use. And I actually use the uh, little copper sleeves that slide over the wire you crimp on, then put in here. I don't just put stranded wire in a clamp like that. The second thing is, is you'll see this is a knockoff. This is a knockoff from a guy in California. The same guy. The guy in California sells these. Thermodyne. All right. Then some guy um, in the middle of the country has knocked it off, tried to alternate program this, but he didn't program it apparently right. And what has happened, and this is a solar charge controller with a disconnect, so here's what happens. They change the, 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 uh, the service inside of it, the program, to where instead of the disconnect, it does a, a reconnect. So the reconnect powers the, that powers the, uh, this big ass monster $8 Pollock relay from China. And having copper terminals, what happens in DC current with copper to copper? They weld themselves together. So be careful. Um, the one that, uh, that I have from a guy out of California, it's a little bit different. It's a little bigger, so it has a bigger coil. And it has uh, silver, um, so that the silver eventually will roll off, but the silver doesn't weld itself to itself like the copper will. And you can tell by looking here. So this one here, not potted, just a plate so that in other words once that melts this, these things come loose this thing here is made to divert your wind turbine power or your solar power so wait a minute what the hell are you going to divert your solar power for you need something that steps it down as battery reaches full not something that goes clank 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 all freaking day long because that's what that'll do divert put a load on your panels then you wonder why your panels are turning brown if you own one of these and it come out of the Midwest or Texas or a guy out of Florida? Holy shit, your panels are going to be destroyed. Because every time they do that, they put that resistor load against your panels. Don't use that for a solar controller. That might be able to be good like an emergency runaway wind turbine thing. But don't use that for anything that they're calling it for. Same with this. Those people don't know what the hell they're doing. All these parts up here I have for a reason. Uh, you see these terminals right here? 80 amps. These will handle 80 amps. All right? That's an 80 amp terminal right there. If y'all guys want to buy some of these, $25, I'll send you that. So you'll get four reds, four blacks, there's the other one, four negative, and eight of these heavy American made ring terminals, which are, they fit that perfect, and they are. Uh, rated for 142 amps. That is their spec rating from the same people. I got this in bulk surplus from. You see. Be aware of what you're doing. If you use aluminum, it has to be this kind of gauge, not that crap in there. I mean, you, just look. Just look. Don't be foolish. 40 amps IBM. This is not. This is 30 amps per side. 30 amps per side because the way that 220, 240, whatever volts is done. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't burn your house down. All right. Other things is you want a voltage converter because you got a 24 volt battery bank to run your lights, to run your lights. And by the way, LE, best damn lights on the market. Um, been using them for years, not one callback. If you want one, you need the Drox. If you want a controller for your voltage, you have 24 battery, 24 volt bank. You want the Drock. And the reason is, is because it is adjustable don't get a preset one once the preset ones get hot your lights dim you get this one you let it get warm and then turn it up just a hair it'll always keep your lights perfect so look at what I got here I install with lots of fuses mini a and L mini fuse glass fuse lots of the big a and L fuses maxi fuses Please fuse your system. Um, don't burn. Don't, don't, don't come in from mowing the yard and see your whole living room smoking in your house. And this burnt through his garage wall. Burnt through his garage wall. Plastic on this was burning. He couldn't understand it. It's because the clamping of DC is damned important. This little thing here with those zinc fittings in it, the little zinc blades. There's no clamping pressure. It doesn't do it. Don't do that. Don't be an idiot. Buy the right things, man. Buy the right things. Buy the right bulkhead terminals. High amperage. Buy the right ones. This is up to 500 amps. 
okay? Get the right stuff. These terminals here, they're made to go like through a metal box. They have an isolator in there, a plate in there. You drill 5 16 hole, you mount them, okay? Buy the right stuff. You wanna, if you wanna put sleeving on, shoe goo. Nothing beats it, literally. Look it up, shoe goo. It's a rubberized compound. Works as good as the paint on, but it stays on. The paint on, you know, electrical tape, but it stays on. Y'all use the right stuff. Be aware of frauds, be aware of fakes. Buy the right wire. Don't buy wire that's claimed a certain gauge, but is just a uh, copper clad. That's not copper clad, guys. That's Timco. If you buy any wire at all, you buy Timco. See that? Buy Timco. Don't be a moron. Get the right stuff. All these things will be linked below. Sorry the video is 15 minutes, but there it is. All right, next video coming up on my channel. This little bitty engine, and you guys watch. There's the crank. Travel of, the, of it is that direction. So when I pull this, you see that spin? Back to the bicycle's rear end. You don't have to do it like you do a Harbor Freight motor where it's turned backwards with the head in the back. That's correctly set up for a, to be used on bicycles. You're gonna see that soon. Under that box there is a brand new bicycle. Mountain bike, seven speed type or beach cruiser. Y'all look down there at the links. I'll put what I can. You have any questions? What do I use? Make them pointful and I'll reply. All right, guys, y'all be good.